Well, my goodness, this is a multi-prod challenge of a different kind. What is going on here? Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, bringing you poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today I'm giving you a brand new multi-prop challenge that uh, really seems like it has just been dropped out of the blue, but uh, there is a method behind my madness here. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyrotera Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they do to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So I felt like it had been a while since I really did a multi-prop challenge that was really truly multi-prop and could be something that a wide variety of props could engage in and everything. But in this case, it came out pretty weird, I would say. Which isn't to say that I don't like it, it's just uh, definitely different from my usual sort of combo and it also involves a lot of the shaping that we played with a few weeks ago and uh, I've got some more ideas for another shaping combo but I wanted to get to this one first. So the tricks you'll need for this combo um, such as they are, you will definitely need to know how to do uh, some basic hybrids including static spin versus extension. Uh, you'll need to know your uh, stalls of course and I mean, if there's anything else that I think really applies here, I think it would be just the ability to do a butterfly, question mark. So I will go ahead and leave links to tutorials on all these tricks down in the description so you can go catch up before you try and go through it. I will take you through the combo at full speed and then show it to you piece by piece before showing it to you again in slow motion. Okay, what's going on here? Um, well, so first and foremost, there is a lot of shaping involved in this, and rather than most of my combos, which involve having the poi in motion, there's a lot of moments in this where the poi are not moving at all, and like the stillness of it is really integrated in the combo, which is different, but hopefully something that y'all out there will appreciate. Uh, so let's start at the start here, which is gonna involve some pantomime. Um, I really kind of wanted this opening to feel as though it were like a jerk and clean, like a like it's weightlifting and everything. And that involved basically taking a pretty wide stance to start with and then dropping down your body in such a way that you're trying to like uh, keep the position of the poi intact and then lifting up with your legs to get back up to a fully, uh, a fully erect kind of posture and everything. But like, I really want to see as you're working through this and everything, really feel it like with the weight of it and everything, and then boom, when you clear it at the top, there's a noticeable kind of like locking with your body and all that, right? Okay, so once you get to the top here, and for me, my hands are generally either like about head level or maybe a little bit higher and everything, there's this moment where the poi kind of split out and you're going into a reverse butterfly here. Um, I'm almost thinking of this in that like cliche from old movies when people are spying on other people and they're just kind of like poking their heads through houseplants and everything. Um, there's definitely a little bit of that going on there, uh, which is silly, but hey, so is this combo in general, right? Cool, so from opening up, I want you to go ahead and get in a beat with your butterfly underneath your hands, back behind yourself and everything. Um, this is not like a reel going back and forth. It is both hands going back so that they can both come front as well. You're gonna be getting in one, two beats in front of you. And the reason for that is that I found I needed two beats in order to stabilize the poi to be able to catch them, yeah? So I don't know why, but I've long had a fascination with the idea of doing stalls that result in catches and everything. I think that when it's done right, it can look super slick. The problem is, is that I've never trained it enough to really make it look ultra slick. Um, so maybe those of you out there that play a little bit more with your poi tosses or do juggling or what have you might have an easier time of this. But as it is, um, I am kind of hit and miss on this and it actually took me several uh, takes in order to get a version of that combo that I'm using for the slow-mo and everything. So in the meantime, um, practice that as best you can. And of course, um, this is the kind of thing that if you're using a rigid prop, 
uh, it works differently. You don't have to do the stall at all. Your prop just kind of like hangs out there, pointed up. And what comes next is gonna be super easy for you, right? So what does come next? So glad you asked. Basically, we're gonna walk our hands down. So the left hand pops out and winds out, uh, winds up landing in a place that's about even with uh, your belly button and everything. And then your right hand kind of rotates around that point and winds up uh, about even with your knees. Of course, if you're using a rigid tool and everything, this is no big thing to go from a pointed up to left walks down, right walks down. Um, Fun fact, when I do these combos, I very frequently have uh, some tool in mind other than poi, and then I translate the combo back into poi, just because I find that that's the best way to guarantee that it's going to work with other tools. Um, in this particular case, what I'm thinking of is the thing that happens with fans where you can kind of walk them down like that and everything, uh, but it, it'll work with cot poi as well, and I think it'll also work with like double staffs, I think, too. So, you have your tool and we walk down left, right, and our next step here is that we're gonna drop both of the poi out. Again, if you're using a rigid tool, this step is not necessary, you're already here and everything. And then we're going to find our way to a static spin versus extension combo. How exactly does this work? So the TLDR on the static spin versus extension, if you are spinning with poi and you know, bear in mind, um, if you're not spinning with poi, this might be a thing that you don't need to stress about as much. But uh, basically, you wanna start off with your two poi uh, kind of spinning in together, same and everything. And um, I always do the extension with my right hand. So with my right hand, I start tracing out uh, bigger circles and everything, but I still wanna keep it in sync with my left hand. And as I reach for these bigger and bigger circles and everything, I want to try and reach my left hand closer and closer to my right shoulder until I can keep that line pretty solid the entire way around, yeah? So, after we release our poi and everything, we get it going around once, twice, three times, and on the fourth time something changes. Namely, rather than me reaching my right hand all the way around to the left and everything, closing off my left hand, I'm actually going to stop my right hand over at my right hand side here. The reason being that we're gonna stop these two poi with one of my old favorites, a point isolation stall. That is, as the poi are both coming up towards my left hand side, uh, I'm gonna take that moment where they're kind of hanging out in midair and bring my hands directly above them, yeah? So this one's a bang, one, two, three, and on the fourth, boom, I wind up with that uh, uh, point isolation stall. It's really important because I wanna make sure that I don't wind up in a position where I'm kind of crossed over with my uh, right hand further over than my left. I want my left hand on my left hand side and I want my right hand about on my body center, yeah? Cool, so from here, um, I am going to stall my right hand poi around to be caught by my left. How exactly does that happen? Well, the trick is over here, my left hand, as it's holding the handle and everything, I'm gonna open it up uh, such that all my fingers are open, but I'm kind of pinching the tether between uh, the meat of my left hand and the thumb and everything, so I have the mobility of all the rest of my four fingers ready to go here and everything. And I'm kind of like, almost pushing somebody away off to the side and everything, right? As I'm coming around to stall my right hand poi, I wanna make sure that that head winds up landing straight up in my palm. And if you look really closely, you'll see that um, I'm kind of catching it by pinching off my index finger and thumb around it as it comes around and everything. And that makes sure that it has kind of a soft landing in the other fingers. Boom, like that. And I also wanna make sure that I connect my right hand with my left poi head. And again, the stall is not necessary if you've got a rigid tool, but it is with poi, because our next move is we're gonna bring them down and around and over here to our right hand side. We're gonna keep the shape exactly the same so I wind up with my right hand up high and my left hand down low. From here, I'm gonna real quickly switch this over to a horizontal plane and I'm gonna kick out with my uh, my, my left knee as I pull the two poi across my waist and everything. Um, your mileage may vary with other tools on exactly what the, you want the presentation of this to be. Maybe you want um, your 
props to be kind of out to the side and everything as you do this, um, or you just want to go for it and everything and see what happens when you get your hips involved here. But either which way, after you do the kick, as the uh, poi come out and around and everything, I want to pull them up and around back behind my shoulders as though I'm like putting on a t-shirt and everything and do a little lunge off to my left hand side. And that's what finishes off the combo. All right, so from the top, I start off here in a wide stance and I have my poi down near my hips and I'm going to bend my knees down and kind of isolate the poi in place so I can get my body under them and push up with my legs as though I'm doing kind of a lift and jerk and everything and boom, snap two when I get to the top separate them out, do a beat behind, one, two, in front. I do the stall and the catch. I have left hand go down, right hand go down, boom, drop the poi, come around in the hybrid once, twice, three times, and on the fourth, boom, I cut the line and do a little point isolation stall. Right hand comes around to stall up, and I grab it with the left hand. I bring both of them around to my right hand side, kick up with the left knee, boom, around behind my shoulders with a lunge, and I give the stage a look, yeah? All right, so let's see that again in slow motion. All right, so this is a funky one, but I still want to see your version of it. Uh, please post a video of yourself doing this combo with whatever tool happens to feel like a good fit for it on Instagram. Uh, and make sure to use the DrexFactorPoi hashtag or tag me, I am DrexFactor on Instagram. Um, if you want to add that to your stories, make sure to tag me and uh, I can go ahead and copy your video and post it into my own stories so that all of my followers can see your hard work. Please make sure to like, share, share, comment, and subscribe so that other people can find this video and get themselves into the joy of uh, prop dance, yeah? And of course, before I set you all loose, um, a quick thank you, because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these nice folks right here and those listed down in the description. Uh, these are my wonderful supporters on Patreon, and they make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. If you would like to sign up to support this work that I do, and uh, no pressure, but if you do, it would be much appreciated, uh, you can head on over to do that at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi to sign up. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Plus which, uh, I occasionally post some awesome extra and behind the scenes content up there too, so you should go check that out. Please and thank you. All right, so these two combos this past couple weeks have been kind of funky, I know. Uh, so next week I will be back with probably a combo based upon uh, the flow video that I'm uploading this month and everything, question mark. We'll see how that uh, transpires and everything. Either which way, uh, I will have something cool for you all to play around with, so I will see you then. Peace.